Today we are visiting the McArdle Center for Early Autism Intervention and we are going to be taking a tour with Emily, but can you tell us first a little bit about why you started the center? Hi, sure. First, welcome. Um, we started the school actually because I'm a mom of two autistic twin daughters who are five years old, Caitlin and Riley, and I was driving them all over. Um, Anne Arundel County, um, even into Montgomery County for therapies on a weekly basis. And there is also not a year-round school program on the Eastern Shore that focuses on children with autism. So the need is definitely here, so we decided to start it. Awesome, are you ready to take us on our tour? I definitely am. So this is where you can come in while your children are getting one-on-one -on -one therapies and just relax. It's also a great place for parents to just come together and chat and um, just kind of see what's going on with each other. And in here is our parent intake room. So this space is where you can talk to your therapist one-on-one -on -one about what's going on with your child, what their goals are, um, assessments, things along those lines. And our goal is to make this also a library. So we would have um, a lot of resource books available to parents about autism, different ways that we can um, help them locally in the community with resources as well. So this is um, the part of our school wing that you're now entering. And this is our library for our children. Um, it's going to be a very comfy place with bean bags for them just to come and relax, curl up with a good book, um, and things like that. And it's also going to be a multi-purpose room, so if we need an extension of our main classroom, we can come in here too. So now we're in what is called our sensory room. This is a great space for children with autism just to come and relax. Um, a lot of time, um, things in our regular environment, loud noises, um, crowded rooms, things like that can offset a child's focus if they have autism. So this space is meant to be a calming, peaceful environment for them to come back in, regroup, um, relax a little bit, possibly jump on a trampoline, whatever they would like to do, um, just to get their focus back so they can go back to one-on-one -on -one therapy or go back to the classroom environment. So can you tell us which room we're in now? Yes, this is actually our main classroom. We are going to be able to accommodate preschool up through second grade children. We are um, a nonprofit. We are currently guided by Chesapeake Charities here on the Eastern Shore, and we are going to offer a year-round school program. The biggest thing for children with autism is consistency. Um, my daughters don't know if it's Monday or Friday. They don't understand holiday breaks, things like that, so they tend to regress during those. So we're going to make sure they have a consistent, positive place to come, keep them on schedule, and keep them going forward. And this is the beautiful room that they'll come to school in every day. And outside, we have a very safe, wonderful fenced-in area. We've got a playground set that's going to be um, here shortly. So they'll also have some outdoor space as well. So now we're back here in the library. Can you tell us what's going on? Sure. And I'm actually with a fellow mom on the Eastern Shore, Kelly Stevens, Hi, who's nice little boy Brady, um, comes and gets one-on-one -on -one therapy here. We've actually got a beautiful space here and a wonderful group of therapists and professionals that have come from all over the state to work with our children all in one central location on the Eastern Shore that is such a needed area um, for all of this in one place. And this is Brady, who is working with our amazing speech therapist, Tiffany Erler, and they're in the middle of a session just to give you kind of an idea of what, what a session looks like here. And how's your experience been with the center here? Oh, it's phenomenal. Like, it's a total difference from what we've been searching for and actually having Emily and, and the ABA th therapist start it here. It's, it's unbelievable to have all of these interventions and all of these therapies in one center, focusing on the things for my son that he needs. It's just, it's, it's overwhelming. <laughs> So how can parents go about enrolling their children in the school? You can go ahead and call our main phone number and then we'll set up an appointment and we'll do all your intake paperwork with you then and we'll go from there. And so how can they contact the office? Do you have a phone number, website? We do. Actually, it's mccardleschool.com, and our phone number is 410-588-6583, and that's actually my personal number. You call, mm -hmm. and then I'll transfer you to somebody else to help you, depending on what your needs are. And you can also um, visit our school site on Facebook. We have a great following and keep our calendar really updated on that. So that's the McCardle School for Early Autism Intervention on Facebook. And do you have any events coming up? We actually do. Um, um, next Saturday, February 6th, we have our first official fundraiser. It is a Lou LaRoe clothing event, mm -hmm. and all the proceeds will go towards the McArdle School. We'll have food and drinks, um, so hoping a lot of community um, support shows up that day. And then the following weekend is our official open house, which is Saturday, February 13th from 12 to 4. We'll have all of our therapists here for parents to talk to, along with myself um, and our entire team, just to welcome parents here and show them what we're all about. And to let um, parents know as well, our school will actually open in summertime in July with a summer camp program. And then our school will actually start in September, which again is preschool through second grade.
Well, thank you so much for having mm -hmm. us out for a tour today. Do you have anything else you would want parents to know about the school? Well, thank you so much for coming. Um, the last thing I would just like to say is that we are working with the state of Maryland to make our program affordable for all families that are out there. Speaking from one mom with two special needs children, um, I know how you know it can be out there. Um, so please just come in and, and talk to us, and we'll see if we can make a program match for your family.